All right, so we got Armored Core 6 fires a Rubicon review. Let's get to Rubicon the video. Rubicon 3, the setting for Armored Core 6 fires of Rubicon is a far cry from the I heard that this game absolutely popped off. Immediately establishing a striking sci-fi aesthetic that's unlike anything from software has created in the past. It looks decade. good, man. Looks Lessons good. Learned from the studio's most recent output are evident in Armored Core 6, but don't go in expecting this to be Dark Souls with mechs. The sixth numbered entry in this series is a decidedly Armored Core game, meshing exciting mech on mech action with the I already checked out gameplay. Nine out of ten game. Of your giant robot. It's a game. For Nine out of ten. Eyes but also represents the most approachable entry in the series thus far. One that sees it's too good. software return to it's too good, bro. in triumphant fashion. 29 hours? Oh, bro, it's a 9 out of 10. Bro, you played 29 hours already. Though Rubicon 3 on, might be able to sustain human life, it's still an incredibly hostile place. Occupying corporations wage war against each other, local resistance fighters, and a governmental space force for control of the planet and its valuable resources. Dilapidated cities, arid deserts, and frozen wastelands serve as the battlefields for mechanized warfare, as missiles, bullets, and laser cannons frequently collide with steel. Even the planet itself is imposing, and when you catch a glimpse of the sky, you'll notice pockets of the planet's atmosphere burning red like fire. The reason Rubicon 3 is such a hotbed of action is because it's home to coral. This mysterious substance is immensely valuable, causing a Isn't it next to Saturn? Of planetary corporations to descend upon the planet in an all-out war to harness it. You enter the fray as an independent mercenary employed by the enigmatic handler Walter, who orders you to complete jobs on behalf of whichever faction is willing to pay. Much of the narrative is delivered through audio on a static screen, with nary a human face in sight. Don't try not to die like a dog out there. Being a silent protagonist also makes Hello? it difficult to escape the feeling that you're puppet for those pulling the strings that's this crazy intentional although i'm here doing a devil's work delves deep enough into this feeling of detachment to say anything meaningful most yeah. of the characters are fairly cliched even if the voice acting is generally entertaining and while who are you talking to interesting aspects to the lore the story is ultimately disappointing with I'll really throw you off the bridge, bro, and catch bad. you. <laughs> the narrative does afford you a degree of agency at times, as you're occasionally asked to choose between two missions or two different factions, thus creating a branching path that affects both future missions and the game's ending. This adds replayability to future playthroughs, although it's in New Game Plus where this feature comes into its own. Armored Core 6 doesn't quite venture down the near automata route, but it opts for a similar vibe. New okay. missions appear during New Game Plus, while familiar quests are altered, adding extra choices that can change how they play out. Once you've settled into the cockpit of a titular Armored Core, the first a wet thing pit? that jumps out is how easy Armored Core 6 is to pick up and play. Your mech can be equipped with up to four weapons. I can't lie though, bro. I love how smooth it looks already. How smooth like the movement is, bro. Quick dodge both on the ground and in the air and engage an assault boost that resembles a sprint propelling you forward with the type of g-force that presumably makes it look like you've aged about 30 years. Oh wow. Familiarity. Get me look like Granny Mae from Word Girl. To other third person shooters, but that's where most comparisons end. Much like Armored Core 4, there's a focus on speed and maneuverability to the point where even the heaviest mechs are able to glide across the battlefield with relative ease. Movement feels fluid and responsive, and I told you. you can't stay suspended in the air indefinitely, you can remain airborne for a good while. It still looks clean, though. It still looks smooth. With the ability to fire four weapons concurrently. Look at him, bro. He's skating, bro. Skating on the ice. Exhilarating combat style that rarely eases off. Oh, my God. 
Sekiro's brazen DNA. Talking about some enemy destroyer. That man got eviscerated. Shout out to your rage. Ethos. There's an emphasis on adopting an aggressive combat style that's derived from your mech's mobility and firepower, but also the game's stagger mechanic. Each successful attack on an enemy combatant applies strain to their attitude. Oh my god. He's light him up from the back. Yes. When this gauge fills up, it causes them to stagger and freeze in place, giving you a brief window with which to inflict more damage than your shots normally would. If you let up at any point, the strain on the ACS gradually declines, so you are okay. incentivized to push the action and remain on the front. Foot. See, I want to see why IGN gives it though, because honestly, IGN, th listen. Has its own ACS I, that oh, by hold up, wait, move out the way, move out the way. Most of the rank and file enemy types that you encounter are literal cannon fodder and explode after one or two hits. So the stagger mechanic only comes into play against particularly menacing foes. Armored Core 6 maintains the mission structure of previous games in the series, with each chapter containing a mixture of story and side quests within self-contained levels. These missions are wonderfully varied, whether you're fighting mechs on a frozen lake or climbing up the side of a weaponized mining ship that dwarfs your Armored Core with its monumental scale. The bulk of the fighting takes place against regular enemies, while mini-bosses regularly appear and boss fights punctuate certain missions by bumping up the difficulty with a memorable... Oh, I'm not doing that. Much of the game uh -uh. acts as a power fantasy that sees you lay waste... Oh, I like that lock-on. I love that lock-on. ...sweat before a boss shows up and knocks you down a peg or two. These battles present a challenge consistent oh, with no. software's previous work, but these erratic difficulty spikes create an odd juxtaposition with the rest of the game, even if it makes sense within the game's lore. Since the armored cores are much more advanced than the standard mass-produced mechs populating the battlefield, it never feels like the game adequately prepares you for facing a genuine threat, which can make the opening hours frustrating at times when you suddenly hit a boss-shaped roadblock. Mm. Fortunately, Armored Core 6 is still more approachable than the series has been in the past. For one, there are numerous training missions to partake in that explain yeah. everything. From the basic controls and combat fundamentals Missile to the differences lock. between a tetrapod AC and a reverse jointed AC. Crucially, okay. It does this by giving you the opportunity to try out various loadouts and get a feel for how each one functions and differentiates itself from the others. Assembling your armored core is as crucial to success as mastering the game's combat. Oh, I'm about to make mine cheese play, play, cheese play. I'm about to make mine cheesy, bro. And using them to create a distinct I'm man, oh, oh my god, your own. You might opt for I'm, hey, I might look on YouTube for some builds, armored core builds, a rifle in one hand and a shotgun in the other, or for go guns completely in favor of a pulse shield and laser sword combo. When it comes to body parts, there are fluctuations in weight and armor between the multitude of heads, arms, torsos, and legs you can equip. Boosters I'm about to get the smallest meatball head, head ever, bro. Leapability, while chipsets alter how effective your missile oh, they better, they better put the, uh... is at different ranges. You can't just. <laughs> I'm about to say something together. crazy. It works either. Each loadout must adhere to. I'm about to say <laughs> they about to put the tip in. So you can't say rock up with a lightweight mech equipped with four bulky cannons. This establishes a balance and forces you to consider the pros and cons of each build. And it's here where the marriage between Idea, what are y'all gonna give it? Combat I'm really giving it a nine already. The first time you fight a boss is typically a learning experience. IGN, hey, comment down below. What do you guys think IGN is going to give it? And then edit it after you see what IGN uh, put. The front, thanks to its armor plating. Circling around to attack it from the back and sides is the only way to inflict damage. But it's surprisingly nimble for its size, frequently deploying its huge thrusters to outmaneuver you. It's entirely possible to beat the Juggernaut by constantly positioning yourself behind its impenetrable arm. Yeah, bro, you gotta, you gotta penetrate it from the back. ...by also equipping a vertical rocket launcher that launches each armament upwards so they come hurtling out of the sky and impact behind the Juggernaut's defenses. Beating a boss is incredibly satisfying on its own, but especially yeah, I can imagine. if you found a way to adapt and alter your build to do so. You can't summon another player to help you take down a troublesome boss like many of the Souls games either, yet this doesn't prevent Armored Core 6 from maintaining a semblance of community. Anyone can save a loadout and then share it for other players to use. That said, oh. it's not the most convenient system to use. Since hey, send me your loadout. A list of every shared loadout. Instead, you need a person's in-game ID in order to download their creations. What? 
I can't imagine it will be difficult to find those willing to share their boss specific builds though. The only other online component of Armored Core 6 is versus matches where you can battle other players in either Hey, if anybody want to versus me, bro, I'm dropping you off. Don't do that. Armored Core 6 represents a new beginning for the long-running series. It still remains I'm literally playing like my life depends on it, bro. Vision, but the whole experience has been refined to welcome an audience that cut its teeth. That looks so beautiful. I'll be real. That thing bit like Megan and Simon and Kevin Durant. Maybe some early growing pains due to its lopsided approach, but these shortcomings quickly scurry to the back of your mind once you start weaving your fully customized mech between incoming attacks while I'm giving it a 9 out of 10. Of rocket fire, IGN, what is it? Swipes and plasma rounds. IGN, what, what's your rating? 8 out of 10, okay. 